So you guys are partly to blame. You guys are partly to blame. We did it, Joe. Boo, 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 boo. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Being felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a ten. Like Debbie. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nuwa Zindombela, also known as Gwazi Bear on all social media platforms. Do subscribe, be a part of this family, and if you're returning, Sabi, welcome back to We did it. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. It is day 30 of our thousand dollar challenge. Po 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 and guys i thought i should sit down share a video of my experience throughout this journey with you guys share some of the ups some of the downs um of the challenge and um what i was hoping to achieve what i did achieve and what i didn't achieve um so yeah someone asked me to share my experience with this challenge so i'm here to share with you guys what went down in the last 30 days so before i get into the video guys please do like this video do um comment down below and also um super thanks if you can um yeah so let's get into the video okay guys so for those of you who do not know or for those of you who are new here i challenged myself at the beginning of this month to join the thousand dollar challenge um on youtube that basically means that i would have been posting every day for 30 days straight on my platform now guys let's just take it back to the very very beginning um the first thing i'd like to say about this challenge is i found out about this challenge on the 1st of July. So I was just browsing through my YouTube. I happened to bump into Sims Wright's video and she was talking about Uklantis Dumagode, which is one of the YouTubers here in, South here in South Africa and how he was embarking on this journey of posting every day for 30 days and they called it the thousand dollar challenge. Now to explain why it's called the thousand dollar challenge um, is, is they, they, they basically, um, I need to stop saying basically. <laughs> I need to stop saying basically. So um, the, um, the reason for the challenge is so that um, you post firstly every day for 30 days and also um, try to reach the goal of a thousand, the goal of a thousand dollars in the month of July. So um, for all my South African people, thousand dollars is about... Let me actually check that out. How much is a thousand dollars? Okay, so a thousand dollars is about eighteen thousand South African rands, um, and that is basically the challenge that you make eighteen thousand from the videos that you'll post in July. Now, when I started this challenge, to be completely honest, um, I wasn't really thinking that I would make the thousand dollars. <laughs> um, just looking at my views, so you guys are partly to blame. You guys are partly to blame <laughs> for me not reaching that goal. But we're not going to dwell too much into that. Um, so basically, it would be dependent on the views on my videos. And that would make me $1,000, right? So when I joined the challenge, to be quite honest, my goal wasn't really reaching the $1,000 mark. My goal was to be consistent. And guys, <laughs> I have been consistent. I have posted for 30 days, no break, 30 whole days. You've got to be kidding me. So I'm super, super proud of myself. That's the first thing I want to start off with is to say I am so, so proud of myself for going on for like 30 days, for posting every day for 30 days. It was not easy, guys. Yo, it was not easy at all, but we did it. We're here. It's day 30 and yeah. Let us share our experience game on this journey. Okay, so so when I started the challenge, obviously I started on the second because after seeing Sims Wright's video, I was like, okay, it's already the first. I'm sure everybody already started the day before on the uh, on um well 
I'm sure everybody started on the first on the same day that I saw the video but I saw the video on the first and it was late in the afternoon so I was like okay tomorrow I'm challenging myself I will start on the second because July does have 31 days so guys the first couple of days I don't want to lie were a breeze I was so productive I was so on the ball with the challenge I had content like I had content for days in in one day i would record for like two days to ensure that i had content for the next couple of days and the first couple of days for me were a breeze and the thing about this challenge is that i wanted to showcase pretty much everything that i do or that i like doing and i know a lot of people say on youtube you need to niche down and all that and i don't just want to be a person who's known for the sins or may you a trial i don't want to be a person who's only known for makeup and hair videos i don't want to be a person who's only known for vlogs do you understand me i know that people do say niche down but in all honesty i want to do it all for now i want to do it all until i get to the point where i'm like okay i no longer want to do this and i'm gonna focus on this but for now I'm into makeup. I love makeup. I love putting on makeup. I love looking pretty. I love playing with colors. I love doing all those things. Two, I love doing my hair. I love installing wigs. I love braiding my hair. I love doing all those things. So that is the type of content that you will be seeing on my channel or that you have been seeing on, on my channel so when i started the challenge i did pretty much all of those things where i showed you guys some installation videos i showed you guys some makeup videos um and i also even threw in some cooking videos um in the mix because i do enjoy cooking for my family although i don't really um shoot that type of content on my channel where i'm like doing recipes and all that but i do really enjoy cooking so i thought i would incorporate that into some of my first few videos so indeed that was the point i did some makeup videos i did some hair videos i did some cooking videos i did some vlogs in between and um initially i had thought that i would um jot down a few ideas as to the type of content that i wanted to share with you guys um but also because i started the challenge so late i didn't have like a plan as to how i was gonna go about doing the whole 30 days it just came to me as it came and i did it as it came right now that the first couple of days were over i think the excitement and the energy started to wear off a bit <laughs> because at around day 9 10 11 I was already on some like shit i've done everything i've done hair videos i've done my skincare routine i've done some vlogs i've done this i've done this what else can i do because i was starting to run out of ideas and guys it's so tough to run out of my ideas <laughs> when you're part of a challenge so i started asking okay what would you guys like to see what what should i do what should i do people did come up with some suggestions which i really really do appreciate but i sort of had like a creative block um during the challenge so around halfway through the challenge i had a creative block i didn't know what type of content to create and luckily for me it was fast approaching the sins or may you were trial and so since i used to do weekly updates on the trial i decided okay let me incorporate the sense of me you were trial into this challenge and the last couple of days as you guys would have seen it had a lot of the sense of me you were um analysis going on there i did some lives as well to help me um because i felt like although i was running out of ideas another thing that was a major major issue for me is that i started like feeling tired like i didn't want to create content <laughs> i started feeling like i'm lazy like i started being lazy especially towards the last couple of days started being lazy and i didn't really want to shoot um i know that vlogging is the easiest thing that i could have done for the last couple of days because i would have just taken videos of me doing the regular things that i do on a daily basis but even that was difficult for me so the sense of me you were child did assist me quite a bit because i then decided okay i'm gonna do lives i'm gonna interact with people during these lives and um i'm gonna use those lives as my videos for the day that helped me quite a bit and surprising enough because of so many people's interest in this case those are the videos that made me the most amount of money 
like my lives that I did for the Senzo Meiyu trial were the ones that got me a lot more money than my vlogs and all the other videos because I don't really get that many views on my other videos. So guys, if you're watching this and you don't really watch my other videos, please watch my other videos because there's no way that I have 11,000 subscribers, 11,000 bears up in here. And you guys are not running up my numbers when it comes to views for all my other videos. I get that some of you come for different types of content, but a little support will go a long way. Thank you. <laughs> so um yeah that was the challenge i really really did enjoy it i really enjoyed um not enjoyed i'm really proud of myself for being so consistent um there were some days where i felt like i really didn't want to post or i really didn't want to shoot a video but hey day 30 we are here we did it um so i'm happy about that and then with regards to the thousand dollar mark I definitely did not reach that goal, but I'm okay with that. Um, I, I, I'm just happy that I, I did 30 days of content and yeah, I'm happy with that. So, um, will I be joining challenges like this again in the future? I don't know. Maybe let's, let's see in Vlogtober, we might go ahead and do a bit of Vlogtober or Vlogmas. I have no idea, but I would really like, like to challenge myself a bit more when it comes to like these sort of things. And now that I have enough time thinking about Vlogtober and Vlogmas, I have enough time to sort of prepare as to what sort of stuff I want to put up during that period. So yeah, guys, keep watching my videos. Please keep watching my videos please keep liking my videos please keep sharing my videos and yeah just run those numbers up because um i do understand that although i didn't reach that target or that goal now or i'm not seeing the um the outcome of all that work now i might see it in maybe a few months time so yeah guys that is my video that is the challenge it challenged the hell out of me but um we're all good we made it it's day 30 thank you so much for everyone that supported me through this um challenge um I had a lot of people saying, oh, we're rooting for you, girl. You're so consistent. You're doing so well. Keep it up. That really does go a long way. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm not saying see you guys tomorrow. Duh. See you in my next video. Um, I don't even know when that will be. But yeah. Also, another thing, I'm just feeling so mentally drained. I'm mentally drained. So it might take a while before I put up the next video. But yes, yeah, it's Obona. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.